Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Sunday Battlefront commentary. We have an exciting one for you today. This is actually a viewer submission video. Yay! First one we've done. So he actually did create the video in the background, which I give him props for that. He was not able to make the commentary. Uh, his name is Raz Taz. At least that's what he sent me in the email. I'll have to see if he has a YouTube channel so I can link it in the description or something. But uh, this is Raz Taz's idea. He made the video, um, you don't have to make a video if you don't want, you can just send me the idea, I'll make the video and the commentary, or if you feel inclined to do so, you can make the video, you can make the video and the commentary, it's all up to you guys about these things, so let's just hop right into his idea, first I'm just gonna go through, read his idea all the way through, then I'm gonna put my spin on it, give my views, my opinions on his idea. In Star Wars Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2, the jetpack was useful for getting, was useful for getting to tricky places, taking shortcuts, and as a parachute. The fuel was too short to do much, which besides from, which, with, oh my god, this is poorly worded, I'm sorry. Raz Taz, you kind of worded this a little weird. The fuel was too short to do much, besides getting from point A to point B, if you time it right. You had to fly where you were aiming, and it was a bit slow. It didn't feel like flight either. But I also want to use it as the Fets did in the movies, to battle with. I want it, I want to get a real Fet feel while using it. There should be Newtonian physics involved, it should be a bit of a balancing act, not a simulator, just a little skill required to separate the pros from the noobs. Uh, this is kind of the part where it really loses me, because I don't know PC controls for most games yet. There should be a good minute or so of fuel, so for hovering and weaving left and right, backward, while shooting at enemies on the ground, then fly away over a wall. I imagine the controls to be u controls to be WASD tips, the user, front, back, left, right, shift space for throttle, pro mode, altitude on easy mode, the mouse left, right is yaw, Mouse up down is just points, um, fets, weapon up and down. This way he can aim independently of flying. So, yeah, that was, he has some good ideas there. He had a lot of good ideas. I agree with his assessment of Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2. The jetpack was, in essence, useless, except to just get places faster or to get away quickly. It wasn't something that you could really use as a tactical advantage. Like, you get that class, and I remember all the time getting the class and being like, Yes, I'm a jet trooper. I'm gonna dominate, because I can just fly around. And you can barely do anything. It takes so long to recharge. There's so little fuel. It just kind of sucks as an overall class. So, for implementation in the new game, I would agree with that they need to implement it better. While I don't agree with Newtonian physics, I agree with there should be a reformed system of jetpack. They should make it a little bit better and more in-depth than it was in the first two Battlefront games. And there should be some sort of skill required, as he said, to separate pros from the noobs. Like, you shouldn't be able to just get the Jet Trooper class and completely dominate with having, like, never used it before. There should be some skill involved. There should be some having to know the class and what to do in order to succeed. And as for the controls, I don't really know much for controls on PC, as I said before. Uh, it's not my strong suit. I don't PC game a lot. Well, I don't really PC game FPSs. But uh, there should be a good minute or so of fuel. I don't know if I really agree with a minute or so of fuel. Maybe like 20 to 30 seconds. That seems like a better thing. Somewhere between 10 and 20 seconds would be probably the ideal amount of fuel. Because if, if you think about it logically, I think in Battlefront it was somewhere between 5 and 7 seconds. This is just a guesstimate from uh, all my years of playing it. It was somewhere between 5 and 7 seconds. And they definitely need to improve the control and handling. I agree with him. Of It shouldn't be where you're aiming that you fly. There should be some sort of controls on the keyboard independent of your aiming that you, you are allowed to fly with. So, he had a very good idea. Don't forget that if you want to have your idea on my channel, on any channel really... Just submit the video to me, submit the idea to me, I'll make the video for you. Whatever you want to do, just submit it here and we will be uploading these once or twice a month depending on how many I get. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like rating and as always subscribe for more awesome videos. I will see you guys later.